Hello, this is Coupon Robot Hedgehog, and another commentary. Today's victim is NES Mario 123. The YouTube troll that I like to call a bullshit man. Why do I have to do a commentary on this guy? Here's the reason. He did a commentary on Rocky Hammer 18, which is she makes good videos and put much effort, but this dude, he's just a big derp. Without further ado, let's get started on this commentary on his video, The Sonic the Hedgehog Review. And I'm going to review Sonic the Hedgehog, because it is the worst game of <laughs> Pro Gary Video Land. Bob Dyer. Pro Jerry video game. Turn his off. What the fuck? I mean, what the fuck with the intro? That intro is just horrible. I see better intros than this piece of garbage. And Sonic the Hedgehog for the Sega Genesis wasn't a bad game after all. And besides, who can explain Mario the Plumber? He liked the classic Sonic, but we already played him. Well, for except me, because newer Sonic fans had to decide which one they had to choose. The older or the newer. And how does Sonic the Hedgehog for the Sega Genesis Rip out Super Mario. It doesn't. Oh my god! Oh my god! Sonic the Hedgehog 1 is the worst game ever! It is a ripoff of Super Mario Brothers! I, I, I can tell you why. Oh, okay, in that game, Sonic the Hedgehog, all you do is run and jump on things. That's the same exact thing as Mario! Yes! Are you gonna explain the story or the c gameplay or enjoyment of this game? I think it's never compared with Super Mario. And plus, running and jumping are the both absolute the same fucking thing they use in every single fucking game out there. And great job with the games. Designer, I hope the rest of the game designers are way cooler than your per for art design. Look, you used the toast design on the old NES Mario title, and we all know what Hotel Mario turns out. So Sonic is always about speed. And Mario is about platforming, and also using bricks as power-ups. Only Sonic uses television screens as his own power-ups, because they have different... Sonic uses only shields and chaos emeralds, and Mario has mushrooms, fire flowers, etc. And now, we're... Combine the two things, if Mario and Sonic can come together to defeat Dr. Eggman and Bowser, if it's gonna be a cool game, I'd rather say, I'd rather think Nintendo and Sega to create this wonderful game for both Mario and Sonic Adventure. Please post it in the comments below. If you think about this cool idea. But they do it in the stupidest way. They make the run button auto. I don't want to run all the time. I end up dying because the run button is on auto. And, and you always start out slow too fast. And, and it's really difficult getting through this. I can't believe this game. This game gets zero. 
How the fuck does the run button is auto? I don't think it's auto when I first play it. Oh, by the way, if you get the... If you got Sonic Generations, you can buy the Gen Sega Genesis controller and plug it to the Sega Genesis. And then you got Sonic Genesis for good in your Sonic Generations. So what can I think about NES Mario 1, 2, 3? A 1 out of 7. So, if you like the Sega Genesis or not, it's sure a good game. There's some games there might be good, like Super Mario for the NES, or other games. It's way better than this pile of crap. This is Heath and Robot Hedge saying, Sayonara, and peace out. And Clash of Crayons is an awesome game.